Okay, so what browser do you use to browse the web? Is it Chrome? Is it Firefox? Is it Edge? Well, nowadays there are many, many good browsers to choose from. Today we're gonna take a look at the Opera browser as an alternative for all your browsing adventures. <laughs> Hey everyone, Percy Jules here. Now today we're gonna to take a look at the Opera browser and to be precise, it is version 54.0.2952.54. Okay, so why would you use this browser? What sets it apart from all the other browsers out there? Now the first thing you'll notice when you open up the browser is the very typical Opera sidebar. So let's take a look at that first. Okay, let's start up top. Now up top we have a menu. Well, there's nothing really out of the ordinary about that. It's just a menu. Uh, next, we have some integrated messengers. So the first one is Facebook Messenger. Uh, then we have WhatsApp. We also have Telegram and we have VK. So these are integrated into the browser itself and they will open up as a sidebar. Okay, next we have Instant Search. Now, Instant Search is a way for you to search the web without actually leaving the browser tab you were on or in or however you say that. Um, now, so let's say that I want to search for Opera, okay? And as you can see, the results open up in a separate pop-up window. Um, and only if you click one of the hits or click this button right here, you will, uh, it will open up in a new browser tab like this, all right? Now, one thing I would say about instant search is that you search with Google and there seems to be no way to change that. So you, it's, there's no way to change the search engine. And I'm sure there must be a reason for that, but it would be extra nice if they would add that feature if you could change it to another search engine. Anyway, you search the web, as I said, but if you press the tab button, you can also search all your open tabs. So let's say that I want to search for all the tabs that I have open that contain the word Opera. Okay, and now here are all the results. Okay, so that's a pretty nice little feature. Okay, moving on to My Flow. Now, what is My Flow? Now, My Flow is a way for you to share some things between your devices. So, what can you share? You can share links, you can share videos, you can share images, and as you can see down here, you can also leave some notes to yourself and share them also. So, let's say that you're reading a story or whatever, and all of a sudden you have to go, you can just share it to My Flow, and when you're sitting, in the train or whatever, you can just open it up on your smartphone. So very nice little feature to have. So next we have snapshots. So you can take a snapshot of any selected area on the screen or you can capture the full screen. Now you can zoom in or out. Uh, you can add an arrow. You can blur any section of the screen. You can also add a drawing. Uh, you can also add a selfie, which I'm not gonna show you right now because I'm already recording this with my webcam, so that's not gonna work. And you can add a sticker, all right? Now, then you can either save this or share this for whatever reason you may have. Okay, next we have the speed dial. Okay, let's go to the speed dial and this will look pretty familiar to most people, I guess. Now, first we have the Google search bar and then as you can see, Opera has already pre-selected some sites for us, but uh, you can add actually any site to the speed dial for quick access. So let's say that we want to have quick access to www.wikipedia.com click add to Opera and now you can see that we have quick access to Wikipedia. All right, let's go back to the speed dial because we can also kind of customize what it looks like. So if we go up here to the right top corner, it says easy setup. What is easy setup? Well, they've just selected some settings and they've called it easy setup. All right, so what can you do here? The first thing you can do is change the theme from dark theme to light theme. I believe it, it the, the by default it comes as a light theme, okay? Now, you can also uh, change the wallpaper settings, you can disable it altogether, or you can just change it to another uh, wallpaper. 
Um, but next you have the option to add some things to the speed dial. So first of all, show bookmarks bar, which is not really part of the speed dial, but if you disable this, you will see that the, the bookmarks bar will disappear. If you click it again, it will appear again, obviously. But if you enable show speed dial suggestions, you will see that Opera will suggest some sites for us. And I believe that that is based on your previous uh, browsing behavior. And also what you can add is um, news. So if you enable show news, uh, then you will see that a news feed will appear. Now we can customize what kind of news will appear, but we'll get to that in a second. Okay, next we have bookmarks. Now, there isn't really that much to say about the bookmarks other than that it looks pretty well laid out, it looks pretty neat, so there you go. Now, moving on to personal news. So, basically in Opera we have a built-in news reader. Now, to be honest, it's not gonna be as advanced as some of the dedicated news readers out there. And also, you know, the news sources you can choose from that's pretty limited. You have to choose sources from their lists, so you cannot bring your own. So that's a little bit of a limitation. But you know what? You know, it is built in, it looks pretty good, it works pretty well. Uh, and even though you have to choose your sources from their list, they have a pretty extensive list. Um, so, you know, it, it has its limitations, but I'm still gonna say it's a pretty good feature. Okay, next we have tabs, so all your open tabs, we have your history, and then we have extensions. Now, this is a list of all the installed extensions in this browser. If you want to get more extensions, go to get more extensions, all right? Now, as you can see, there is a pretty extensive list of extensions for, uh, for the Opera browser, but it's probably not as big as the list for Chrome or the list for Firefox. Those lists are a little bit bigger, I believe. But there is one um, extension for Opera, which is called Install Chrome Extensions. Now, what this does is, if you install it, you can then go to the Chrome Web Store and install extensions for uh, Chrome and install them in Opera. Now, that's pretty nice, isn't it? Okay, next we have Settings. Now, yeah, okay, well, I'm not gonna go over all the settings individually right now. That's a little bit too extensive for this review. Um, for now, I'm gonna move on to pinning and unpinning the sidebar. So now the sidebar is pinned. So if I go to any website, let's say Wikipedia, you will see that the sidebar is here. But if I unpin it, you will see it will disappear. And it will only open on, uh, let's say, administrative web pages like settings or the speed dial and pages like that. All right, so that is the sidebar. Okay, now let's talk about some of the other features of this browser. Now, the first thing they advertise with is security and safety. All right, now on this page, you can read all about how safe the browser is. Now, one thing I would like to talk about is that it comes with a built-in ad blocker. So that's very nice. So as I read here, it requires no um, additional add-ons. Uh, it also loads pages much faster. So really nice. Um, Another thing that is built in is a free VPN. So as I read here, it doesn't require, it requires no subscription payment or additional extensions. So it is free, it is built in, so that's very nice. Okay, now let's move on to what has to be my favorite feature of this browser, and that is video pop-ups. Now let's say that I'm watching a video and hey, this looks like one of my own videos. What are the chances? Okay, now let's say that I wanna watch this video, but also at the same time, I would like to do something else for whatever reason. And believe me, there are many. So what you do is whenever you hover over any video, this little uh, symbol will appear. Now, if you click it, you can see that the video kind of pops out, all right? So now I can do something else. I can go to another website. I could even open another application, it would still be on top, um, and then you can resize it and you can, you know, drag it to wherever you want it on the screen. 
and I can just start doing other things. So that's super convenient and this is one of those features that I just don't understand that this hasn't been introduced before by any browser or at least I haven't seen it yet. You know, but anyway, I really, really love this feature. Okay, the last little feature about this browser I would like to mention today is this. So let's say that you're on a website and you see a word or a few words um, and you would like to copy that or you would like to uh, search those words. Well, what you would normally do is you would highlight those words, then right click, then search for that option to copy or search and then perform that action. Well, this browser just skips one or two of those little steps. So what you would do here is you would highlight those words and whenever you release, Opera automatically suggests a few actions for me. So I could either search, I could copy, or I could send it to MyFlow. Now, I think that that is very, very nice. It seems like a very little thing. Well, it actually is a very little thing, but in the browsing world, any step that you can skip will add to the browsing experience. So I think that this is a very, very nice thing that you shouldn't underestimate. Now, another nice thing you can do with this is this. So now I'm on a shopping website. Um, you can see some items with the prices in US dollars. Now, I'm interested in how much it is in euros. So what you can do is the same principle. You just highlight one of the prices and when you release it, Opera will automatically convert it into euros. So very, very nice. Really love this feature. Okay, so in conclusion, now like any browser, this browser has some stronger points, it also has some weaker points, so it's not as fast and snappy as Chrome or Firefox, or at least it doesn't seem like it to me. It doesn't have as many extensions, uh, but on the other hand, it does have some really nice features that most other browsers don't have, you know, and this is going to be true for any browser you try, so stronger points, weaker points, it all comes down to preferences. But overall, I would say that this browser is a very, very, very good alternative. So go check it out for yourself if you want to. Anyway, this has been a quick overview of the Opera browser. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon.